Hello guys, it's Brian again. It's been a while since I've uh, posted something. Uh, unfortunately, I've just been a bit lazy. So, back in action again. Uh, working on the Insignia, uh, it's the 2009 gearbox. Uh, I had done a video some time ago showing how to take the gearbox off and change the bearings. And the whole point was because uh, it had um, a wobbly stick, uh, second gear and uh, the fifth gear uh, so the end case bearings had gone and those have been replaced uh, which are these replace these uh, put the car back together drove it a while and the second gear was still doing the wobble uh, so I pulled the gearbox out again uh, and just having a look uh, at the gears what I noticed I'm not quite sure because I've never worked on this gearbox before uh, this is the the top main shaft and uh if we have a look at all the gears they're all nice and solid um then here's the stripped down version of the uh lower gear uh, lower main shaft uh which houses gear two five sorry gear one two five and six uh so this is the second gear uh let me just get into it Better position. I mean, I've stripped, I've stripped down the sh um, the shaft a bit uh, just to do my investigations. Uh, but uh, what I've noticed is uh, on this gear, as you can see, it's what it's supposed to look like uh, when it's in place. Uh, is there's a lot of this. Uh, same as the fifth gear as well. But if you look at uh, the first gear, it's nice. And solid there isn't that much wobble and uh, what I think it is uh, I'm not 100% certain because uh, you know I'm not a gearbox expert but logic tells me uh, that uh, it's either this gear is worn so if we take it apart for a minute uh, it's held in by these two clips uh, let me just do this right quick You see, that's the difficult thing, and it's like every time I try shooting a video, you know, I always stress out about uh, how to go about this. Oh, sorry, what you have to do first is remove this top ring, uh, which holds these things. They look like collets on the valve stems. Uh, so, take this out. Then the gear comes apart. Obviously, that's the bearing to the gear and everything seems fine with this one so if we come in here uh, let me see if I can get the camera if you come in here this gear looks badly worn uh, it looks like this bit here of the gear has been wearing into there uh, and we've got a nice decent lip there so I've actually ordered a new gear and uh, funny enough, sorry, not the gear. It's a um, synchro hub uh, for the f for the first and second gear. Yeah, so that synchro hub uh, looks worn. So here's what the new one looks like, uh, and uh, it's it's got this washer thing, which seems like it sits on top, and just looks like that so um, what I'll just do is um, replace that I'll swap this around and see if it makes any difference uh, okay guys this is a bit interesting I've just pressed out the uh, first and second gear uh, synchro hub uh, just to have a look and uh, initially I thought the one that I had was missing a shim because uh, when these things come, uh, they look something like this. Two seconds. Let's see if we can put this together. Yeah. So when these these synchro hubs, they look something like this. They've got this uh, little ring on it. Yeah. So I thought, um, looking at the one that I had on there, was like this, and I thought it was missing that hub. 
But funny enough now that I've actually pressed it out and taken it out, it's like this. So that hub, uh, sorry, that uh, space or whatever is already there. So, which is quite interesting because now, if we look at both uh, hubs, mm, sorry guys, uh, hold on, let me just see if I can. Mm. So, if we look at both hubs, uh, this is the new one. It doesn't have a leap in. Damn, look at this one, the the old one. If you look at that. So this this one originally looked like that, but it's been worn down so much, you know, that you've got a massive groove. That's why the second gear was going. So it's like if uh, you find yourself having that gastic wobble on the M32 gearbox, uh, the second gear. It could be your end case bearings, or it could be that uh, synchro hub. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I promise I'll try for next year to have a decent camera set up because um, I think there's a lot of things that I've been doing uh, or learning on my jobs and which I think most guys would uh, benefit from uh, as I would have uh, if um, something like this was out there. I mean, I know it's like when they talk about the wobble for the M32 gearbox, you know, it's usually the NK bearings or the... Or the other bearings on the other end these ones here you know so you know i mean after doing all that and if you still have a problem maybe this is the route that you need to go uh so um i'll put this thing back together i'll press this one out and put everything back together then i'll give you guys an update thanks for watching